name is Amy Ecker and I am back with another New Beauty Award winner. So they have two different boxes and I've already shown one of the boxes on another one of my videos. But this one is called Fast Fixes and so I was really curious about this one because I really like the other box. So we're going to go jump into some of the products. First we have the Reset by Amica Pink Charcoal Scalp Cleansing Oil. It's a weekly pre-shampoo treatment that acts as a magnet for product buildup. This is a cleansing oil banishes grime without stripping the hair. I love the thought of that because I use a lot of product. My hair is super fine and really thin. So I use a lot of product to try to give it any kind of height, volume, etc. Next we have the O Thermal. Mm and the scalp cleansing oil normally retails for $25. We then have the Avene Thermal Water. This is a beauty, if you find yourself in a beauty pinch, you can use this soothing thermal spring water. It gets major points for getting your complexion back to normal in no time. So let's see. It's a fine mist. It's just, it, it seems like water with a fine mist. Okay, which during summer, that might not be a bad idea to carry around. That normally retails for $14. Then we have the Eucerin Roughness, blah, blah, blah. Eucerin Roughness Relief Spot Treatment. It's enriched with soothing moisture binding urea. This body treatment offers a targeted remedy for rough patches that standard lotions don't provide. This retails for $6.49. We're going to go over to First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Barrier Cream. This helps strengthen, balance, and hydrate. It's sensitive for sensitive skin, which is always good. That normally retails for $30 and it does exactly what the name suggests. It's a lightweight, pretty much perfect velvet consistency. I'm really looking forward to trying all of these products. Very now, soon. I can never have too many whitening toothpaste. My teeth are very sensitive to whitening products, and so if I can find a good whitening toothpaste, I'm all over it. They had a, white, a different whitening toothpaste in their other box that I've been using daily, and I love it. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this farm grown mint with tea tree and coconut oil does when I'm finished with the last one. So this Hello Naturally Whitening Fluoride Toothpaste is vegan. It's eco friendly and favored with farm grown mint. This is a natural toothpaste. It brightens teeth while fighting cavities and reinforcing weak enamel. That normally goes for $4.99, which is far more affordable than the other box. The other box of toothpaste was $50. So, mm -hmm. little price difference. We're gonna go into the Chlorine Dry Shampoo with Oat uh, oat Milk. Ask a new beauty editor or any beauty editor really what her favorite dry shampoo is and she'll most likely say Chlorine Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk. It's the holy grail for second day hair. I do use dry shampoos because again, I, I need all the product help I can get and I actually just washed my hair today, so I have no body whatsoever in my hair. Um, it's just kind of flat. So I do like using these to pump up volume, but this also has a really nice scent. It smells clean, it's not overwhelming, and it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be like a perfume, which I really like. That normally retails for $20. $20. Then we have what I just kicked on the floor, is the Double Duty Mist from Norse. And this is the first of its kind mist meets toner. We can't stop raving about it. It morphs into a different formula when shaken to cater or whatever the sensitive skin needs at the moment. Interesting. This is made in Korea. It has kind of an organic smell. It does say it's 99% natural ingredients and it does smell very very clean very organic 
That normally retails for $8. Then we have the White Blossom Body Butter. And this retails for $32. It's rich and creamy but non-greasy, which is huge. This body butter comes in 20 can't stop smelling scents. It combines a trio of soft skin softening oils, avocado, almond, and sunflower. The shea butter helps smooth any rough areas. Hmm. Can it help with the personality with rough areas? Okay, these are one of my favorite. The Lumify from Bausch & Lomb. These are Redness Reliever Eye Drops. It's the first over-the-counter FDA approved eye drop that contains active ingredients that help um, reduce redness. It's proven safe and effective in clinical trials. I'll tell you, if you've got red eyes, some of the eyelash serums that I've tried to use to help grow my eyelashes out make my eyes fluorescent red and glossy at all times. So if I'm using a serum, I will add these to just kind of bring my eyes back to normal. And they're fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely love these. And these normally retail for $11.99. Then we have the Mario Badusco. Badusco can't pronounce it for some reason. Okay, it's not too thick, it's not too thin, and su successfully hydrates lips without having to consistently reapply, which is huge. This will probably most likely go in my winter stack. Don't really need it for summer, but this again will be great for the, the winter season. Okay, this is the Nuria Hydrating Moisturizing Toner. I do enjoy using toners and love them even more when they moisturize. Even though I have oily skin, I love using products that have, um, that hydrate or soothe and um, hydrate. So while I may be an oily girl, I still use a lot of products that probably dry skin girls use just because I want to keep the face as soft and supple as possible. And I'm trying to ward off any more wrinkles at any time soon. So this not only does this, uh, not only does this toner soothe and soften dry skin while prepping it to better absorb other skincare products, but the brand also donates a portion of every cell to girls education. So it's kind of a two for one. Can't wait to try that product. I love companies that give back. And yeah, wouldn't it just be nice if everyone did? Then we have the sheet mask. This is the Pacifica Pollution Fight Blue Algae Urban Defense Facial Mask. It is cruelty free, 100% vegan. It's infused with skin loving ingredients such as blue algae, kelp, banana, vitamin C, and chai seed extract to fight damaging pollution. These normally retail for $4. I am big, big, big into sheet masks even though they scare the living hell out of my husband. Thought that he hated just the white sheet masks until he saw one that made me look like a penguin and decided that that was actually worse than the white sheet mask. So, I do enjoy wearing these when he's least expecting them. And last, I don't have the product right here in front of me because I've been using it. I have it on today, which helps kind of tan or slightly tan my skin. I'm extremely white. St. Tropez Self Tan Purity Bronzing Water Mousse. So, I like it. It's very lightweight. It is, it smells like the beach, goes on totally clear, and gives the skin a golden flush without leaving it dry. So, I put it on this morning. One of the things that I do not like about self-tanners is they smell good going on, and then as you wear it, your body starts getting kind of a strange smell. So, if I did self-tanners, I would do them at night for the most part because I did not like the smell that it left on my skin after setting. This one really doesn't have much of a scent, which is nice. So, I was able to put it on, let it soak in. I did use a mitt to put that on. And I just kind of do it every so often, every few days. It's not that my skin will ever be brown. This is kind of as dark as I'm going to get, but I do like the fact that I can use it on my real fair, fair skin, and I don't feel like I look orange. And it doesn't set like in, sometimes you get those tanners that set in your hands, like 
and then kind of in your dry patches this one doesn't collect on the dry parts of your skin and then make it look dirty like those self tanners also drive me insane so this one is nice you can build it up to whatever color you like again I don't I don't get really dark so for me I just need a little bit of a sun kiss look and it doesn't it doesn't give that weird kind of in the crevices dirty look so I give that a two thumbs up again I would have it up here but I've been enjoying these all right guys so these are my fun products for right now uh, if you have any thoughts questions comments put those below I do plan on jumping into several of these very very shortly so you may see this in an upcoming favorites video or empties video all right y'all have a great day until next time